how SQL injection works. Sometimes when you're attacking a victim, you simply want to remove data from their database, not actually get the data out of the database. This is most easily achieved through SQL injection. SQL injection accounts for about 25% of all hacks on the internet and is therefore the, probably the most common form of attack to websites. SQL injection is only going to work against sites that are running SQL, MySQL, or similar database sites. <clears throat> By entering SQL commands into a form, you cause the form to execute that command against the SQL database. Firing off drop table can cause you to delete whole sections of the database with no ability to recover them. This can be very effective at bringing down a website. While PHP and other languages offer some ability to detect whether or not a command has been issued through a form, often these can create more problems than solutions. Well-written code should detect whether or not a form is valid and whether or not what's contained in it should actually be executed, rather than saying that no table can ever con contain the words drop table or any other SQL command in them, because many of those SQL commands are actually the phrases that you might use in English. So, the next time you're thinking about removing somebody's information from the web, drop table is a definite way to do it.